Hello and welcome to Motion Time. For today's topic, we're gonna talk about the move behavior. So move behavior can be found here on the behaviors, basic motion, and move. But first, let's add a shape on our group. Now let's apply the move behavior. So the move behavior, it just moves your layer to a specific position. The move behavior contains these properties. We have the position, the strength, direction, and speed. So direction, we have two options, to and from. So for the speed, we have constant up to decelerate. Strength from 1, which means turned on, and 0 means turned off. And the first one is the position. So we have this x, y, and z. To use the move position, we go to the last frame, then adjust our parameters here or on this part. Let's use first this position parameter. So I want my rectangle to be on the right side here. So I'm gonna add an X position, 800. Then if we go to the first frame and press play, we can see that our layer now moves from the starting position which is 0 to 800. Now let's use the Y position. So I want my rectangle to go to the 500 pixels. Okay, it is quite easy. Now this time, how about let's have a cross. Let's reset. I want my rectangle to be on the 400, Yogi. Uh, here, 400 pixels, right? And here, so I'm gonna adjust this just like this so it's quite easy how about we change the direction from to to from so now our starting position is on this part the move behavior will go to the initial position of our layer as you can see our layer returns back to the position 0, 0 because if we look up our rectangle property x position its init its position is at 0, 0 next to speed up our move behavior you can just trim it to the desired length you want so i want my move behavior to end at 110 in here so it will end here at 110 okay so that's how to use the move behavior in apple motion